welcome to this beach located in Italy on the Adriatic Sea. And it is at this beach in which I will find a fish I've wanted to see this whole Italy trip. Well, I will see you tomorrow when I am ready to get under the water and film some of these amazing animals. But then I noticed the fish I've wanted to see. <gasps> there is a goby. Okay, tomorrow could be incredible, hopefully. Now finally, I will see you then. It is the next morning and we are here back at the beach to try and find some more animals in the cup. Let's go. Since yesterday, the tide has gone right out, which could help us. It could mean that there are more fish a bit deeper in the water, or it means they could have all gone. So we've just got to hope it's the first option. So straight away, I start looking for creatures and find a green crab. Okay, the first animal we have seen is a crab just going into the rocks here and there are some more oh my word now look at this absolute beast it's a blue crab they're originally from north america but have spread to the mediterranean and the adriatic sea and they're big they are normally around nine inches across. But now my search for sea creatures continues. All right, so there is some rocks down here I've, where I've already seen a really big crab and a lot of fish. Jellyfish. Just look how long those tentacles are. I've only just realised that I'm actually kind of surrounded by jellies right now, which is pretty cool. I didn't expect to see so many. Yeah, somewhere is another jelly. So far, I've seen lots of cool animals, but now it's time to put the snorkel on and get underwater. Well, got the snorkel, ready to go under the water. The moment I get under the water, I start to get a completely different perspective of this reef. I mean, you can just see things everywhere. And that's when things got crazy. Just look to the left of the screen now. That was another goby. But if you missed it, don't worry, you're going to see more. I can see a goby, which is the fish I saw yesterday and really want to film. But they are so quick and small. I'm so close to getting And this time, I got some proper footage. But after a few seconds, it swam away. But at least we got proof it was a goby. Oh, that's it. Oh, I got like the tiniest shot of it. It was the stripy fish you saw on screen. So, my plan for filming the goby is just to sit down in the water by these rocks. Just keep underwater for as long as possible with the snorkel and just wait till it comes and if I stay still surely the goby will stay still that's the plan anyway so I'm under the water and I'm waiting for the gobies
and my plan has actually worked. And instead of just being one, there's actually about five or six gobies. These specific types of gobies are called painted gobies. They're usually found on the gravelly part of the seabed, close to the shore, but can also be found in tide pools. Painted gobies have been widely studied for their use of sound. When males are defending their territory, they use displays that involve spreading their fins, quivering their body, and even producing bursts of drumming, rapid pulses of low frequency sound. How cool is that? Swimming past here is a massive black goby. Well, that plan worked. <laughs> Wow, honestly I don't know what quality footage I got on camera, all I know is that I did get goby footage on camera. Oh. Wow, there was a big one as well, I'm not sure if it was a goby, couldn't get the best view of it, all I could see was like a black silhouette. It is the next day and I am back, this time with a net, hopefully to catch some fish. I can see some crabs up along here, they would definitely be cool to get in the net for a bit. Oh, there. They're so quick, you would not expect it from a crab. There. Who's in? There is the crab, right. Let me just get set up to show you. So, here is the crab. Oh, oh, he's gone. He's gone in the water. Oh, so close. Nothing so far apart from that one crab, which escaped pretty easily. One of the most famous things about blue crabs is how aggressive they are. And here, I was up close to two males fighting. The way they do this is by using their major claw. The major claw is significantly bigger than the other claws the crab possesses. So basically, never get too close to a blue crab. Anyway, let's capture more things in the net. My plan now is to try and catch a goby. But before I can catch one, I need to locate one. I saw some fish swim into there, so hopefully they can't escape through there. So when they come back out, they'll go into my net. Now that is a lot of seaweed. Alright, you're going in. Did you see anything? Because all I saw on the camera was all of it. But then I see a goby inside a tiny rock pool. But it wasn't one of the big gobies, it was a very small one. And it didn't take me too long to catch 
a baby goby. So, as you can probably tell, this is a baby goby. And it's actually a different species to the gobies we saw in the water. You see, this one is a common goby. And the ones in the water were painted gobies. Now just look how small these fish are. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, one. Two, three. Always make sure when you catch animals that all of them do escape together. I think you can all agree, it's been absolutely brilliant to explore this reef here in Italy. And this has certainly been one of my favourite episodes. Well, I had to end that episode pretty quickly because I have actually just been stung by a jellyfish, which, you know, a bit annoying, but it's absolutely fine because, well, jellyfish, they don't really do any harm to you. And yeah, the episode was going to come to an end anyway. so. I'll see you next time on Adventure Boys.